morning. I'm just going to apologise now guys. Today's video might be really short. It's, you know, sometimes you have good days and sometimes you have bad days. Like sometimes you wake up and the day just turns to shit before you've even got going. Today is most definitely one of them days. I'm not crying by the way, I'm full of cold again. Yeah, today uh, didn't get off to a great start and I'm not going to go into any details about why. But, um, <sighs> yeah, let's just say that we're both in a pretty bad mood at the minute. Let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know where to go. I don't even know what to, where to go with this, what to say. I just figured I'd probably want to pre-warn you that chances are we're not going to film a great deal today. So like, not really in the mood for it. I'll try and get it, I'll get a video up. But, what's in it? Who knows? It might literally be this. Me getting to work, me leaving to work, me saying goodnight. But, I kind of, I don't want to let emotions and shit get in the way of doing this and it's not that I want to hide anything from you guys but it doesn't mean I have to kind of share everything at the same time I don't know I don't even know what I'm talking about I'm gonna get him home I've got stuff to do anyway I've got stuff I need to do I need to go up the street I need to get these uh, get them wing mirrors sent back to get a drink for work stop kind of uh, worrying stop thinking about bad things just get on with stuff Come on, let's go. So today is being shit, basically. You remember that job that I was happy about? Well now that job doesn't exist because the care home doesn't exist. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do. I've gotta go get a bike dated sick note from my doctor and I gotta try and claim some sort of benefits, which I didn't want to do. So I've got to bring those tomorrow. Just a pants morning and a pants day. Yeah, so basically, the day that they were supposed to send my contract out was the day that the Board of Governors or something, I'll get the letter. Board of Directors, I don't know. Ooh, hello. A strategic decision has been taken by the Board of Directors due to ongoing concerns specifically on the two nursing units that those units will now be closed. Therefore, there are no vacancies available within the place as the current staff group will be re required to reduce numbers. So, basically, they're shutting the care home down so I can't work with them. They have put in the letter where we do have other care homes in the local area that they've listed for me to apply for these other jobs but they're all um, like mental wards, mental patient homes which I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be able to work with them anyway without certain qualifications and I don't know whether I'd enjoy it, I know that's really horrible but I just, I don't think I'd be able to cope with being in that kind of environment. So, we'll see what happens. And yeah, again, I have no in income coming in. And I am just furious at the fact that this place let me hand in my notice at Yo, and then the day I was supposed to, well, the day you decide when I was supposed to get my contract, they decide that the job's no longer there. Which could affect my, my claim for ESA. Not great. Just when I'm getting ready to go out, <sighs> sofa is going to be soggy and horrible. We need to smash it up. I am ready to kill somebody right now. <sighs> I just nearly got knocked off my bike. <sighs> Some complete and utter dickhead swerved out of his lane, right almost level with me, and his wing mirror clipped, engine my bars. I am so shook up. I'm sorry if camera's shaking, but I can't keep my arms still. Like we weren't having a bad day already. And we're not going to whip me on Sunday either. And I'm going to have to cancel that. I need a cup of tea. Lots of sugar. I did. 
coach do? Come on, pursue me. He's a good boy, ain't ya? I'm in a little bit of a better mood now. Jackie's uh, nipped in to see me and I've just moaned at her, basically. Wallowed in self-pity for a few hours with her. And we watched um, The Other Woman, or The Other Women. It's got the the guy in it from um, Game of Thrones that plays Jamie Lannister and Cameron Diaz. It's really funny. I don't think many guys would like it because it is a chick flick, but it made us laugh. And I needed something to make me laugh today. I don't know what to watch now though. You've also probably noticed over the last week or so that I'm a lot heavier than I have been in previous videos. And that's because of these. The only tablets so far that have worked have made me put on a stone. And I've been on them for five weeks, something like that. So I'm not sure what to do because it's not like I eat a lot. I've been a bit naughty with buying things like Nutella, but I don't want to put any more weight on. I've always been really bad about my weight. It's only like the past five years or so that I've been with Wosley that I've actually not been super paranoid about getting fatter. I was really, I was ill at one point from it. I'll figure it out. I can't afford a gym. I'm sure I can do something. I don't think I'm fit enough to for a gym. <laughs> like an arm would fall off or something. I'm bitten to fuck. These are not spots. These are bites. And on my shoulder. If you can see. Bites. Something's eating me. So I'm bald, fat and covered in what looks like spots now. This year has been pretty shit so far. Oh, break time. Oh, this is our stress to all and then I got run over. I just had to buy six. It's just been a shit day in general today. I got here and realised I'd left a memory card for my camera in uh, my laptop. So if the quality of this is dreadful, I apologise. I'm having to film it on my phone. I just want the day to be over so I can go home. Right, I'm gonna go and get a cup of soup. I let people ring me and remind me exactly how shit I am. I probably shouldn't be filming this, but this is our life. So <laughs> at the moment, it doesn't feel like I'm doing too great at life. You don't need to see me crying. Well, another one over and done with. Two more and then a day off. Right, it's time to go home and see Wardle. We'll watch another film, something like that anyway. Oh god. What a fucking day. I quite like this. Just sitting together like. I've discovered what's been missing from our relationship. A reclining sofa. Mm -hmm. Well, no, just the ability to sit with your legs stretched out and so still sit the next ability to somebody. To sit without feeling like you're touching the floor on the cushion you're sitting on. Well, no, I was thinking about more like well, why we don't share a sofa. Oh, yeah. Because you like to sprawl your legs out on the sofa and I like to do the same and you can't do that if you're both doing it. Whereas with this, we can both recline. I don't even know if this camera's pointing at us properly or not. It's pointing at you, I don't know if it's pointing mm. at It is now. Yeah, no. Nobody wants to see my mug. But it is a very good mug. Nevertheless. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, that's enough of talking shite. Yeah, as you've uh, seen, today has been a bit of a shit day all round, really. But it's ended all right. We've just watched Cuban Fury. And if you haven't seen this movie, you need to do. Because a fat man doing salsa dancing. That's all I need to say. I think it says it all. If you know who Nick Frost is, then... Uh, You'll know what I'm talking about. If not, but yeah, just watch the film. It's great. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, it's time to call it a day. So, uh, Twitter links are in the description. Feel free to follow us. Comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And other than that, guys, thank you for watching. And as usual, we shall see you tomorrow.